What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Joe Dog, and I am in my element. This right here, this list right here is going to be my magnum opus. This is the ultimate ice cream list, and keep everything in mind, I will still eat any type of ice cream you put in front of me. But I have favorites. I am also joined by Barack and Donald. I can't wait to see everyone in the comments absolutely roast the ever-living hell out of your precious list, Joey. Now, Donald, let's relax now. What if he has some good takes? Don't matter, it's a Joe list, so it's bound to be bad to moderately awful. You simply don't understand, Donnie. This is my shit right here. I am the ice cream man, and I want everyone listening to this to understand. Let's go get this list started, and I'm putting chocolate in S tier because it is a classic elite flavor that you can never go wrong with. Then I also have vanilla there in S for the same reason. These two are like the yin and yang of ice cream. You can never go wrong with either. Who the hell likes flavors as boring as vanilla? Of course, the one and only vanilla lover, Sleepy Joe, would like something as plain as himself. Donald, you are such a freaking idiot. I am laughing at how stupid you are right now. Vanilla is the penultimate flavor of simplicity. I don't need all these fancy ingredients or all these flavors to satisfy me. Get me a vanilla ice cream cone from McDonald's and that alone will bang. When you add too much, sometimes things can get worse, like with our next entry, which is double chocolate. I am putting that in B tier because it's just too much, to be honest. I don't need a whole lot of chocolate to be satisfied. But if you love the hell out of double chocolate, more power to you. I actually respect this line of thinking. Too much of a good thing can often lead to a bad thing, and I'd say the same applies to double chocolate. It just does a bit too much, in my opinion, and the sweetness can overwhelm you. I didn't know a bunch of pussies were here complaining about too much chocolate. Are you freaking kidding me? I will take that double chocolate and even triple it. Too much chocolate, just that line of thinking is absolutely insane. What are you gonna say next, Joey, that the rainbow sherbet is too much? Actually, Donnie, I believe it has a nice blend of flavors that mesh together really well and provide a great sense of sweetness. In other words, this shit bangs and belongs in A tier. This next one, though, I know I will get flack for, but I want everyone to know that I am not a fan of coffee, to be honest, sue me. It's a solid C tier for me, but I rather have the stuff above it. But in some cases, coffee ice cream can bang. Yeah, this is a bit of a bad take. Joey, coffee ice cream genuinely might be better than actual coffee. Put some nuts in that, and I would take that over double chocolate any day. True, but I think in the context of this list, it'll make sense. Up next, I got banana-flavored ice cream going into F tier. Something has to go there, and who the hell likes banana ice cream? I can't wait for all the fruit tier list people to come back and absolutely decimate you in the comment section, Joey. Bananas as a fruit is different than banana as an ice cream. No way in hell. Up next, we got a real sleeper, and that is pistachio ice cream. I used to think that it would be nasty, and I don't know why. I actually like normal pistachios, and you know what? It translates wonderfully into ice cream form and belongs in A tier. I've never had it, so I can't hate, but like pistachio, that just sounds unappetizing, to be honest. That's how they get you berry, but trust me, if you haven't tried it, it's actually pretty good. Same can be said about cookie dough ice cream. I like mixing that with my chocolate or vanilla ice cream, too. But by itself, it's a solid A tier, honestly. Finally, a solid selection here. Well, Donnie, I know how much you like Shamcock shakes from McDonald's, so you and quite a few others will be upset, but mint chocolate chip ice cream belongs in C tier. You've got to be fucking kidding me, Joey. Right when I complimented one of your selections, you probably just don't like mint because you don't like your breath smelling nice in any way, shape, or form. No, man. I am not a fan of mint, and I will die on that hill. If you want mint ice cream, go mix up toothpaste and vanilla ice cream, but don't go ahead and ruin chocolate by adding it into the mix. Then after that, we get a cleanser and get strawberry ice cream going into A tier. Come on, Joey, you know, mint chocolate chip isn't that bad. Don't get me wrong. I'd still eat it, but man, there is so many better things like our next S tier, which is cookies and cream ice cream. As a big lover of cookies and cream, I support this message. It's essentially just Oreo ice cream, and who doesn't like Oreos? Word, my brother. I then have butter pecan going into B tier. It's a solid choice, and I enjoy it. You bumbling buffoon, did you just say pecan? Uh, yeah, I did say that. It's pecan, you panty huffer. How about you pecan on this dick, you orange shit stain? Okay, but jokes aside, do you or Barry know what the hell a dinosaur crunch is? I'm gonna keep it real. I have no idea what the hell a dinosaur crunch is, but I will say the blueness looks good. Yeah, can people in the comments tell us what it is? I have to agree with Donald that blue means it must be good. I'll put it in D for dinosaur for the meantime, but up next we got Rocky Road, and oh man, I love Rocky Road. 
I want to put it in S tier, but I think I prefer moose tracks slightly more, so I'm going to put it in A tier, and since you all know I like moose tracks more, that then we'll go into S tier. Pretty mid-list. I never even had moose tracks. I'm only a lover of moose knuckles. Ooh, what flavor is that? Moose knuckle? Huh, that sounds like a pretty cool name. Don't worry about it, Joe. You'll never get any of that. What is up, gang? It is your favorite president here. The one, the only, Donald the Great. I am joined here by Barack and Joey in order to make the best cookie tier list on the face of this planet. Although I will admit we couldn't think of more cookies, so please let us know which ones we're missing. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that we're missing animal crackers. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. That's a cracker, not a cookie. What's the difference? Like, genuinely, what is different? Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started, and we got some Nutter Butters coming up first. I personally am not a huge fan of these, but I don't judge people who like them. Ooh, I love these things. I shove so many nutters in my mouth that it gets all dry and becomes one big glob of nut in my mouth. Never mind, I most definitely judge people who like them, and I'm now putting this into C tier. That's a solid placement, despite what Joey regurgitated out of his mouth. I know my cookies, what can I say? And up next, well, we got some cream pies, and oh boy, I love me some cream pies. I personally can't get enough of them. We are talking about the cookies, right? Yeah, so I'd put cream pies in S tier, but the cookies go into C tier alongside the Nutter Butter. Up next, we got our tried and true Oreos. I feel like we all know where this is going. There's no way people can argue against Oreos being in the Cookie Hall of Fame. This goes right into S tier. I love Oreos so much, but if I eat too many, I get like really bad stomach cramps and then my shit looks like tar when it comes out. Joey, dude, what the hell? What if people are eating while watching this tier list? Joey doesn't care. Joey simply voices the truth. Joey, stop talking about yourself in third person anyways. I then have grandma's cookies going into A tier. I don't know why, but whenever I have these, they always hit. Like, I can't explain to you all why, but just know that these always bang when I grab them. And after that, we got knots. And these cookies are pretty good, I can't even lie. A solid B tier for me, but I enjoy the fruity flavor mixed with the cookie. I'm seeing a whole bunch of boxes up next. What the hell are those things? Something I'd advise the sellers of to avoid you at all moments possible. Send a Girl Scout to Joey's house and that's basically game over. Little girl gonna come out of Joe's red screen like in COD. But yeah, the cookies though, I would rate an S tier. We could go into a tier list of flavors for the fans. But as of now, we are rating them as a whole and the Samoas are simply elite and that alone places them that high. Solid selection here, Donald. I will twerk for Girl Scout cookies any day of the week. Those cookies must have nicotine or something inside of them. Thank you, Barack. I'm glad someone appreciates Samoas as much as I do. Anyways, we got Keebler cookies, and with their fudge stripes alone, I'm putting them into S tier. I was thinking A tier, maybe, but I smack on those cookies way too often, and they taste different from the other options. Like, I feel like they're more unique. I'd agree with that, actually. Keebler cookies are banging, and they separate themselves from other cookies as well. Joe, don't just go repeating what I said so that you seem smart, you mouth breather. Up next, we got Famous Amos cookies, and I like them, but I believe they're slightly worse than Grandma's, so I am putting them into B tier because of it, but more importantly, guys, we have my Nillas up next. I love my Nillas. Whenever I see a Nilla, I go, what up, my Nilla? Okay, stop the cap and stop the corny joke, Donald. You are going to get us canceled, and I will personally go and make you choke on Nillas if we ever do. All right, relax, relax. Yeah, truthfully, Nillas are ass and go into D tier, to be honest. I don't really like them all that much, but the same cannot be said for these next ones. And those are Chips Ahoy. God, I love these things, and I'm putting them into A tier. My favorite thing to do while eating Chips Ahoy is to fill up a glass with those cookies and then pour milk till it fills up to the brim. And then over time, the cookies get mushy and perfect. And I scoop them out with a spoon and then drink the cookie water and get the chocolate chips at the end. That sounds like straight ass, Joey. Like you're drinking a bunch of dookie water, just dunk your cookies into the milk like a normal person. Anyways, lastly, we got Walmart sugar cookies and they're okay. Like you know what you're getting with these and they aren't Nilla's, so I put them into C tier, to be honest. The sugar cookies are pretty good. I like them a bit more than C tier, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I bet your Nilla's love them too. You motherfucker. What is going on, gang? We are back once again with another tier list, but this time we are doing a donut tier list. I happen to be a donut aficionado, so I'm pretty sure I'm the most qualified to be judging all these delicious donuts. No, that's not quite the reason why we let you do this list, Donnie. See, the main reason why me and Barry thought you should handle the list is because you're a fat ass. 
Shut your sleepy ass up, Joe, before I kill you before the dementia does. Let's all relax now. What Joey meant to say was that you are simply an elite eater who has the best taste buds. Hmm, I do have elite taste buds, so I'll let this entire thing slide. But let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got a Long John. These donuts are basically your normal frosted donut, but just long as hell. I think for this, I'm putting it at an A tier. Dude, I actually really like these. I love to see how far I can put one down my throat before I ultimately take a bite. You guys know what I always say, I love thickness, but this thing has both length and girth, let me tell you. Jesus, Joe, you are some sort of special, most likely the needs sort of special, to be honest. Anyways, up next, we got an old-fashioned, and I am assuming this is just a normal-ass donut. Yeah, I can't really say I love these because it is just fried dough, so I might have to put this at D tier because it's worse than everything else on this list. I do like me an old-fashioned in another way if you all catch my drift. I don't think I'm catching your drift quite honestly, but I think an old-fashioned with like some hot chocolate bangs enough to merit a C tier, to be honest. I personally like eating it that way. That is such an old person thing to say, Joey. God, I bet you have as many wrinkles on your face as you do on your nutsack, bro. You know what I actually kind of- All right, enough of that. No nut talk when I'm speaking of donuts. Let's continue on with the list. And I got double chocolate donuts in B tier. It's just a bit too much chocolate, but I still mess with it heavily. Valid, I feel like too much of a good thing sometimes turns into a bad thing. Thanks, Barry, I knew you felt the same way as me. And up next, we got the classic sprinkle donut going into A tier because it is a staple. Like you can never go wrong with a sprinkle donut. I won't lie, I do not like sprinkles. Like what do they do? They are just there and I would rather just have it with just the frosting. I don't want any opinions from the nutsack man himself. Either way, I'm sure we will all agree on this next one going into S tier as glazed donuts are literally like perfection. You can never go wrong with this selection, and if you get me a dozen glazed donuts from Krispy Kreme, I think I would cream my pants. I hate that you use the word cream like that, but like goddamn man, I have to agree that it do indeed be bussin'. I love Krispy Kreme so much, I think I would wipe out an entire country rather than lose Krispy Kreme. Well, that isn't really saying much, Barack, since you wanted to wipe out all of the Middle East free of charge, but yes, Krispy Kreme is indeed the best. Up next, we got a jelly donut, and I have that in A tier as well. Like, you cannot go wrong with a jelly donut. Shit is just delicious, and I will eat it up any day of the week. Ooh, I quite like jelly donuts, too. I love eating them with tea or something slightly bitter. God, Joe, do you also eat them while doing your crossword puzzle? You are such an old fart, I wouldn't be surprised if you keel over any day now. Anyways, up next, we got a chocolate frosted donut, and that goes into S tier because it is elite as well. Once again, I just feel like you can never go wrong with this option, and it is always banging. Extremely valid take here, Donald. This next one, though, guys, I wanted to put higher, but I was afraid the audience would, like, kill me if I put it in S. So I am instead putting powdered donuts in A tier. Like, I just love eating powdered donuts. I love the mini powdered donuts. Wow. Yes, Joey. I can definitely tell the audience would go feral and jump my ass considering you agreed with me. But quite honestly, I did not expect you to have an actual dub today, considering how you always have bad takes. Yeah, I love eating them with my tea or a fresh tall glass of prune juice just so I can clean out my bowels real quick. And there goes all that. I take back my compliment and I will now move on to the last donut, which is of course a Boston cream. I like this going into B tier. I just think it does a little too much. Like I always get my cream falling out of it because they fill it up like I'm some girl in the middle of a bukkake and I hate that. It's still once again, pretty good. You know, in 86, I once participated in a 33-man bukkake to celebrate my neighbor's birthday. He was turning a young 76. We do not need to hear any more of that. But going back to the list, Donald, I noticed you have basically had everything placed at B or higher, aside from the old-fashioned. But even then, you have a ton of A-tier stuff. Why is that? I just feel like this is where the food is accurately rated and people will love it. I think these donut tiers are solid as hell and most people would agree that they simply belong that high. I genuinely believe that this is how the list should go. All of these donuts belong that high and I haven't heard anyone say otherwise during this list. I think you rated them that high because you're such a fat bitch. Hey gang, it is Supreme Overlord. The Don himself here ready to present you guys the ultimate Lay's tier list. And I'm joined by Sleepy Joe and Barack as always. And we of course elected Donald again because of his uh, elite taste buds and nothing more. He is an elite eater. I am an elite person, aren't I? Well, let's go ahead and get this list started. I wouldn't want to deprive our precious subscribers from this amazing tier list that I am about to make. 
And to start things off, I have limon lays going into A tier. Let me tell you, let the illegals cook because they were onto something with this flavor. I love eating these so much. I like these too, Donnie, but whenever I eat so much, my mouth starts to bleed and my teeth feel super sensitive, so I always try to have a spit cup next to me so I can spit out all of my blood into Jesus Christ, Joey. That is absolutely putrid, and I do not want to hear anything more about your goddamn spit cup. Up next, we got salt and vin... Uh, I can't pronounce that. Can you help me out, Joe? I just need help for the ending part. It's salt and vin... What, Joe? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's Nick. Okay, let us move past that and get to the rating. Ruin the best part, Barry. But yeah, I have these chips going into A tier as well. I have grown to really like these, to be honest. The opposite kind of happened for our next entry, which is sour cream and onion, which I have going into B tier. I swear I used to have these at S tier, but I feel like the more I've had them over the years, the less and less I like them, to be completely honest. Was there some sort of formula change, or were these just always kind of mid? Maybe you're just getting old Donald. They say a change in taste buds is the number one sign of aging. I think... I do not want to hear that I am getting old from the prune juice drinker himself. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. Anyways, the next chip. The cheddar and sour cream has taken up the mantle for best chip for me. I have this going into S tier because I fucking love cheese. What can I say? I feel like cheese is just one of the best flavors on almost anything. Valid as hell, Donald. I remember we had people mad as hell we had Cheetos in C tier for our chip tier list. So I bet they're glad you're putting something cheese flavored up top. Even if honestly, I think you were the one hating on it the most out of everyone here. Whoa, 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 I still don't buy into the original Cheeto hype. And these cheddar and sour cream lays are completely different, but I digress. Let us move on to the next chip. And this next one is kind of hot ass. Like literally it is hot, but I guess it isn't complete ass. It was very close to a D for me, and that is the Flaming Hot Lay's, which I have going into C tier. I feel like it's just hot for the sake of being hot, and there are better spicy chips out there, but also I don't like spice. Color me surprised that the orange man hates spice. Sleepy Joe, do not go on a high horse and act like you're the spice king. I will put your sleepy ass to sleep with this blast of reality I'm about to hit you with. Joe, I know you think Cajun wings from Wingstop are hot, so I don't want to hear anything about spice coming from you. You just want to look cool in front of the audience again, and I am not having it. Anyways, up next, we got one that might make the people upset, and that is Lay's Barbecue going into B tier. I mess with it, but I like the kettle-cooked version of barbecue chips so much more that I find it tougher and tougher every day to go back to normal Lay's Barbecue chips. You already know I am on that bandwagon with you, Donald. Something about the rough and hard texture of a kettle cooked chip pairs wonderfully with a barbecue chip. I bet you like it rough and hard, don't you, Barry? We then have a classic, which is classic Lay's, and I am putting this into C tier. It's okay to be honest. I don't twerk for it as much as Barack does. Up next, we got dill pickle Lay's, and I am very indifferent about these chips, to be honest. I'm placing them in B tier because I don't like them as much as Lee, Moan, and Salt and Vinegar. I still think B is a solid placement for them, I won't even lie. Okay, but wait, what the hell is that last flavor? What language is even on it? Joe, you're such an uncultured swine. That is obviously the spicy crawfish flavor from China. And aside from the Kung Flu, they gave us all. I would like to thank the Chinese for this amazing S-tier flavor. It'll leave you with some SpongeBob Sunday ass breath after, but trust me, that shit will make you come. Wow, I am just surprised you've had this flavor, Trump. I'm not. He's always been such a fat bitch. I'm killing your ass, Joe. What is up, gang -a -lang? We are once again back at it with a tier list, but this time we're about to discuss the best and most delicious food of all time, and that is pizza rolls. You really think this is the best thing we as a human species have to offer? Well, it has to be that, Barry. Either that or cocaine. You've been hanging out with Hunter again, haven't you, Joey? I don't blame you. He is cool as hell to hang out with. But yeah, pizza rolls bang, bro. I legitimately can't think of a bad pizza roll flavor on this list, to be honest. Which I'll just go ahead and start this wonderful list and start off with the classic pepperoni flavor and immediately put that in S tier. I can already tell this is going to be a hard list for Donald to make because he's such a fat ass. Whoa, what's with the emphasis on that last part? And how is this ranking a problem? The OG pepperoni flavor has to be a freaking S tier. There is no other way other than doing this. See, my take on this is that I like to suck out the sauce and pepperoni from the pizza roll like I'm a vampire and then eat the whole thing without any sauce. Does anyone else do this? Sleepy Joe, what the hell is wrong with you? 
I might have to change your name to Suck Machine after that. But to answer your question, I do not do that to my pizza rolls because I eat them the way God intended. Up next on this great tier list, we got the sausage pizza rolls. And this is yet another S tier, everyone. Of course, this is another S tier. Donald, do you think all of these are S tiers? Do you just twerk for any sort of pizza roll that is thrown in front of you? No, I actually do not. For instance, I have cheeseburger pizza rolls going into A tier because I prefer the pizza flavor to it a lot more. Wow, way to really change it up. We go from S to A tier, and that is a big change for you. Yeah, but then we immediately go back up to S tier for the combination pizza rolls. And to be honest, yes, the A tier ranking is a big deal to me. It goes from 99 overall to like 89 or 90 overall. That's a huge drop. I, for one, support the fact that you're putting these so high. I cannot wait for you to put cheese into S tier because that one is the best to suck on like it's jelly. And then leave a bunch of sauceless and cheeseless pizza rolls out on your plate like a bunch of corpses piling up. That mental image of you sucking off a pizza roll is scarring, and I never again want to think of that, you absolute putrid troglodyte. I think just for that, I have to not place cheese that high. I'll place it in B tier because it is a bit mid. Plus, everyone knows that Don needs some meat. Word? Pause on that statement, Donald. Obviously, you two know what I mean, but even though the Don loves his meat, I know when it can be too much. And for that reason, I also have triple pepperoni pizza rolls going into B tier. But these supreme pizza rolls are fucking bangers, guys. I felt like the peppers inside, or whatever the green shit is, made it taste like an actual pizza and gave it a new flavor. For that, I will place it into S tier, at that point, why not get actual pizza, Donald? Because actual pizza isn't as easy to make as microwaving pizza rolls. And Barry, this is a tier list. So why are we counting real pizza? Anyways, let's move on because we are in our final three. But up next, we got the bacon pepperoni pizza rolls. And I know you all think that would be a match made in heaven. But like Oppenheimer, I'm going to have to drop a truth bomb. It is good, but the bacon can sometimes get a bit too salty. So I am putting it into A tier. But it is definitely in my pizza roll arsenal and always in my fridge. How many pizza rolls do you eat in one sitting, Donald? Like, how the hell can it get to the point where it is too salty? You are one fat bitch, Donald, like no hate at all. Shut your sleepy ass up, Joe, and never compare me to someone like Lizzo again. I love pizza rolls and obviously work out all the calories. Oh, yeah, what workouts do you do and what days do you go to the gym? I don't have to answer those questions. I do full body workouts every day and I recover faster than anyone else because I am the Don. So, yeah, buddy. To answer your question, I lift, bro. Let's just go ahead and move on with this list instead of answering these stupid questions. We got triple cheese up next in the tier list, and I am giving this a B tier as well. It's better than just the normal cheese, but I still need to have my meat in my rolls to fully enjoy them. Okay, that's valid, I guess. This fat ass has yet to place anything below a B. That is actually insane behavior. Shut up, Joe. You don't know where I'm placing the triple meat flavor. I bet it's going into B tier or above quite easily because you love meat in your mouth, so I imagine the triple meat is your heaven. Well, I don't have it going into B tier, but it's a solid A. And to once again make it clear, I do not like meat in my mouth. I like it in my pizza rolls. At the end of the day, the pizza roll goes in your mouth with the meat, so you have meat in your mouth. Relax, Sleepy Joe. I'm not you on the weekends with all that meat in my mouth. Only on Fridays. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. This time, we are going to rank all the chicken nuggets from various fast food places. Of course, we don't have every single one, but we got the ones from our area and freshly tasted them, so I am confident in this list. Also, Joey and Barack graciously allowed me to take over and do this tier list because they know I am the nugget king. Yeah, we always know to let you handle it if it's anything involving food. We know the Don loves his elite eats. Is that what we're calling it, Elite Eats? I thought what he always used was called Uber Eats because his fat ass can't get up and drive in a car to the place. Sleepy Joe, shut your ass up because you're not even legally allowed to drive a vehicle with all those mental illnesses you got going on. Don't act like we haven't seen a whole compilation of you falling down. God, but let's move past that because we are about to talk about one of the holiest and greatest food items to ever exist, and that is the chicken nugget. Up first, we got Burger King chicken nuggets. And even though I literally said nuggets were the greatest and holiest item like 10 seconds ago, this shit is ass. I hate Burger King nuggets and will place them into D tier. I swear that meat cannot be healthy for you considering they sell a ton of nuggets for $1.50. Don't act like you're too good for $1.50 nugget. 
because me personally, I will devour those nuggets. That's a bit gross, Joey, but I respect you being a human garbage can and be willing to devour those things. Yeah, I bet Joey is also a fan of Jack in the Box nuggets, which is not saying anything good at all because I have those things also going into D tier. I legitimately think that the tacos from Jack in the Box might be better than the nuggets, and I really don't understand how. Their burgers and chicken sandwiches are gas, though. Wow, look at that. Trump is just shitting on all of my favorite foods again. I am disgusted that these two are your favorites, but I don't expect anything more from someone like you, Joey. Anyways, up next, we got the grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A, and these are pretty solid. I can't even lie. They're a C tier because I think they're pretty okay, but I think they just taste like real chicken, which is why I even have grilled nuggets that high. Plus, it helps me count my calories. Let's be honest here, Donald. You are most definitely not counting your calories. Okay, you may have gotten me there, but that's because I am already in peak physical condition. I would dominate any bodybuilder with my strength. On to the next one. I feel like a lot of people will hate me for this, but I have the KFC nuggets going into C tier. I just feel like KFC fell off. Like, remember the days you'd get popcorn chicken and it would slap? Now it's bad, or at least the location we went to was bad, but it feels like ever since Popeyes came, KFC has just fallen off and they only care about their Asian markets now because apparently Asian KFC slaps. We need to make KFC great again one day, but for now that will stay in C tier. I remember when it was good, I would love ordering my popcorn, chicken and gravy. But I like your message, Donald. That's a campaign I can get behind. Make KFC great again. Truly the only thing that can bring both parties together. Coming up next, we got our first S tier, much to nobody's surprise, and that is the Chick-fil-A fried nuggets. This combined with any sort of sauce is a deadly combo. I fucking love the hell out of Chick-fil-A, and I will do anything to have it open on Sundays. Did you mispronounce Chick-fil-A at the start? Anyways, knowing your fat ass, you'll probably enact some policy to force it open on Sundays. You know what? I would, and I will fully have the support of all my fellow Chick-fil-A lovers behind me. Up next, we got yet another S tier, and I know some of you guys will be like, ew, McDonald's nuggets aren't even that good. I want you all to shut the fuck up. I will never tolerate any type of McDonald's slander and will personally send you all to the gulag if you ever disrespect the most American fast food place in the world. I love the hell out of these nuggets, especially if they come in fresh. Okay, yeah, I hear it, Barry. I think he's in rant mode and isn't thinking about how he's pronouncing Chick-fil A, but anyways, the McDonald's nugget ranking is one I won't argue at all with. I love McDonald's and their nuggets are bona fide. Joey, I appreciate you not being stupid for once, but anyways, we will now move on to our next entry, and that is the Popeye's Nuggets. They're basically tenders and are pretty good. I would give it a B ranking because I love Popeye's chicken so much, but it isn't really a nugget like how we all think chicken nuggets are, if that makes sense. I mean, it kind of does. They're breaded and fried more than the traditional nugget and aren't made the same exact way, so it makes sense that you would make that distinction be known. Same would apply for the KFC Nuggets. Way to use the thesaurus on that one. Why not just say different instead of distinction? Anyways, we got our last two coming up and it is normal and spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's. Now for the normal nuggets, I will be placing these into B tier because I like them, but I feel like there is a level difference between these and McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, but I still like them. You can order like 50 of these nuggets for 10 bucks and that value alone is insane for these good of nuggets. I then will be placing the spicy ones into A tier because even though I am not really a spice man, I just don't know. The flavor is enhanced with the spice and the Don can't get enough of them. The only bad part is how it makes my butthole burn every time I eat them. I end up feeling like Joe on a Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Way to pick on the Joe dog, but I'll have you know, my butthole doesn't burn nor hurt. You get used to it after a while and it even feels good. Uh, are we still talking about the nuggets? Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. What is up, gang of Lang? It is your presidential trio back with another tier list. We did chicken nuggets, so now we figured, let's go ahead and do some chicken sandwiches. And of course, my viewers don't need to worry because the great Don is taking over for this list, and I am the food expert. But Donald, you told us that you haven't even had chicken sandwiches from all of these places. Listen, Sleepy Joe, I am here to appease the people, and they wanted this, so I will give them this. Just because I haven't had them all doesn't mean anything. This is not Pokemon, and I will simply just grade the ones I have had. Let's go ahead and get this list started instead of listening to Sleepy Joe. Up first, we got Burger King, and this ranking should really surprise no one because I have the Burger King chicken sandwich going into D tier. 
Much like their chicken nuggets, the Don simply isn't a fan of what they have to offer, Whoppers aside, of course. Or actually, their Mac and Cheetos are good, too. They got some good shakes, too. I had their Fruit Loop shake the other time, and I swear that it tasted good as hell. So if you get their shakes, I will personally vouch. Listen, Barry, I try to visit Burger King as little as possible. How about instead we talk about places with real food like our first S tier on this list, and that is Chick-fil-A. These are made with real juicy, tender, and scrumptious ass chicken. This is the Margot Robbie of chicken, and this deserves the spot of top tier sandwiches. But what about Popeyes? That's like the Selena Gomez of chicken, and I like their sandwiches almost as much, maybe even more than Chick-fil-A. Joe, you stop butting in and let me do the fucking list, man. We haven't hit Popeyes yet, but believe me that it will get only the most accurate of rankings. Speaking of that, I am sorry to the loyal audience, but I have never had a chicken sandwich from Dairy Queen. Is it good? Because I only get ice cream from there whenever Joe makes us go. Which is almost every weekend because he can't get enough of his blizzards. It's kind of an unhealthy amount of ice cream that he eats. No amount of ice cream is unhealthy, in fact. I could go for a blizzard right now. Can we go after this list? God damn it. Sure, man, I can go for some ice cream. Anyways, let's go to Jack in the Box next. And I have this going into C tier because I think it's honestly all right. And following up our KFC comments from the chicken nugget video, KFC has simply fallen off and I will be placing their chicken sandwich into C tier as well. It could have an argument for B, but I'm gonna keep it here till they get their shit together. Now with those two out of the way, I have some very, very unfortunate news for everyone. Now I am a McDonald's lover and everyone knows that. The audience knows, Barack knows, Joey knows, hell, even Hunter Biden knows I freaking love McDonald's, which makes these next words I'm about to say hurt me even more. I am placing McDonald's into D tier for their failure of a chicken sandwich with their dumbass McCrispy invention. You're better off with a McChicken than ordering the stupid ass McCrispy because that thing is absolutely dreadful. It has no passion or love put into it and it is simply hot garbage. Jesus, Donald, we got a whole rant from you. It must be that awful for you to talk so badly about a McDonald's product. Believe me, it was horrible. I was scarred from eating that monstrosity, but I will forever swear by their McChickens. Thankfully, we got another palate cleanser, and that is the delicious ass Popeye's chicken sandwich. This goes directly into S tier and is the direct competition for the Chick-fil-A sandwich. For me personally, I get whichever one, but lean a bit more towards Popeye's. Let's go, Popeye's superiority. Relax, Sleepy Joe. I usually only get it when I want something cheaper or if it's nearby, but I enjoy them both equally. Up next, we got Arby's, and I think it gets too much hate. I love their curly fries, and their chicken is just as good. It's not the best, but they place in a solid B tier for me personally. Let's give Arby's some more respect because it is better than the credit it gets. Following that up, we got Shake Shack, and I never got a chicken sandwich from there. Just a burger and a shake, so I have no opinion on this, really. And thus, I have to place this into the question mark tier. But oh man, you see that shit up next? Yeah, I am putting steak and shake straight into F tier. This is hot garbage, and I would rather be shot on sight than ever step into another steak and shake again. That's a bit excessive. I personally really like steak and shake. It's like a cool little place to enjoy, and sure, the food might not be the best, but I like it for the atmosphere. Yeah, I bet you like the atmosphere of where little kids and young teens hang out at. Plus, this is purely a ranking based on flavor alone and not anything else. Which leads me to our first A tier, which is Wendy's. They stepped up their game a decent bit with their new fries, and they have good sandwiches. I feel pretty good about this placement, but I think I still wouldn't go to it, because if I really am craving a chicken sandwich, I'll go to Popeye's or Chick-fil-A. And if I want a cheap chicken sandwich, I'll just get a McChicken from McDonald's. Okay, so if the McCrispy alone makes McDonald's a D tier, what does it become if you count the McChicken for this? Probably an A tier, to be honest, but I'm too lazy to change it. Joe wants me to finish this list, and quite honestly, I also want a blizzard now. So let's go ahead and wrap up this list. I never had one of burger chicken sandwiches, so that also goes into the question mark tier. And for all the Bojangles lovers, I have good news. I think that it is a solid B tier. Take that however you will. Now, Joey, let's go get you some blizzards. Yippee! What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back, and we are excited to do this tier list right here, which is about canned food. Normally, we get Donald to handle food-related things because of his elite eating skills, but he isn't that knowledgeable on canned foods. 
Sorry, I like my food fresh, sue me, but I will admit that canned tuna is a slapper, and I am quite frankly a huge fan of that. Yeah, and I am a huge fan of canned sardines. I love eating them with the tomato sauce and stuff. Yeah, we can unfortunately tell that you love sardines, Joe, because you never brush after eating them, but I will admit that you and Donald have good taste, but enough of that. We don't want to jump ahead of the list, so let's go ahead and get started. And up first, we got some canned artichoke hearts. Okay, so I got to keep it real with everyone. I freaking hate artichoke hearts. And we'll proudly put this in D tier. Oh man, I love artichokes. What the heck, man? What's next? Sweet peas going into D tier? You cannot be serious, Joey. This thing is gross. And you know what? I do believe that you love it, which makes me even more confident that this belongs in D tier. It's okay though, because we have back-to-back -back Chef Boy arty cans, and one is beefaroni and the other is the classic ravioli. I'm proud to say that I freaking love the both of these and I will be placing the beefaroni into A tier. And even though I know many of you will probably call me out on this, I do not mind. I'm placing the ravioli into S tier because of legacy reasons. This was the one that put Chef Boyardee on the map and I will give it the praise it deserves. To be fair though, it's basically the beefaroni, but in different pasta form. Yeah, there can't be much of a difference between those two, like it's the same sauce and meat, so it basically is just a change in pasta. Either way, I do enjoy me some Chef Boyardee, so I support this message. Thanks, Donald. And up next, we got canned chicken breast. And I am not a Wego Gym type of person, so I don't really care about the macros and how much protein is in canned chicken and how good it is for meal prep. So I am placing it into B tier because it actually isn't bad, but you will not catch me eating canned chicken on the regular. Something about it just seems off, and I do not want to get used to eating chicken from a can. Then following that, we got another A tier, and that is canned chili. Come on now, this was an easy A, maybe even an S tier to some. Who doesn't like some good chili in a can, if you ever go camping and bring one of these? Man, that is game over, because everyone is going to be munching on your chili. I absolutely love it. What do you mean munching on my chili? Hmm. Anyways, I can't have too much chili. I love the stuff, but my stomach bubbles up and then I get the shits from it. I don't know why, but I still don't stop myself from eating it. Even if it means I'm going to be clogging up someone's toilet, it doesn't matter to me because I need my chili. That's why you're never allowed to set foot in my house, Joey. That and, well, many other reasons. Yeah, that's pretty gross, man. Let's just pretend we don't know that about Joe and move on. Up next, we got canned corn, and I think this is a solid C tier. Like, fresh corn on a cob is always preferred, but if you're too lazy, well, I won't judge you for getting corn in a can. As for our next entry, I got fried apples going into A tier because this slaps. I probably am just a huge fan of canned desserts, but either way, I like it, so it's going up high. After that, though, I am putting the fruit cocktail in C tier, but only because I've never had it. And quite honestly, it looks like it would be delicious. I need the audience to help me out on that. Yeah, I haven't had any fruit cocktails in a can either, so don't feel bad, Barack. Nah, don't cap, Joe. I bet you've had the cocktails just without the tail. Okay, relax now, Donald, before you make Joey sound that word out. Next up, we got another decent one, and that is canned green beans that I'm then putting into B tier. I fuck with green beans. Let it be known. As for the canned mac and cheese, I do not smell that at all. It sounds quite awful, to be honest, but again, I've never had it, but it somehow has to be better than the artichoke. So I am putting it into C tier. And while we're at it, I am putting fruit cups into C tier as well because they aren't canned. Quite frankly, I don't even know why they're here. I love fruit cups, though. Aren't fruit cups basically the same as a can, though? They both last a while and have preservatives in them. Are we really going to be nitpicking that one triviality and then proceed to not give it an accurate ranking because of it? I find that very impractical. Shut up, Joe. Thanks for that, Donald. Now we can move on to the peach slices, which come in a can, and I love peach slices. I will be placing these into A tier because I love me some peaches. Can't say I love sweet peas either, but I'll give them a solid B tier. If I got to use these peas when I'm cooking, I will. Up next, we got a good ass entry with the refried beans in a can. God damn, is this another good one. Bring one of these camping and you also got yourself another banger. I'd like to place it into A tier, but it's like a super high B tier in my opinion. Oh no, the illegals are gonna get you for that one Barack. 
then Joey will shit himself in your car if you don't place the sardines high. It's true. I will actually do it, and I'll also do it in a secret area in your house. They don't call me the Joe Dog for no reason. Okay, let's relax, Joey. I thought they called you Joe Dog for a different reason. That's kind of gross, but don't worry. I will be placing sardines into A tier, but only the tomato sauce sardines. This one says it's in mustard sauce, and I'm not sure if that's good, but I can vouch for the tomato sauce ones. Then we have our second S tier, and that is spaghetti O's, and I love these things. Actually, looking at what's next on the list, all of these are bangers. The spam and tuna instantly go into S tier. Honestly, if there were a tier above S, I would put tuna in that. I think it is the ultimate canned food, and I know the image shows a plastic bag, but these come in cans, so I count it. Yeah, huge W for tuna, and I expected it the whole time. Yeah, yeah, we knew this Hawaiian dude was gonna put spam in S, but more importantly, where do the Vienna sausages go? I would suck the hell out of the sausage juice that was left over in the can. That sounds absolutely putrid, but I don't expect anything less from you, Joey. I'm feeling mighty generous today. And I do like Vienna sausages, so I'll put it in S tier. Why the hell not? Come on now, Barry, these cannot possibly go that high. Shut up, Donald. You only hate them because they remind you of your cock. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time yours truly is bringing you a Cheetos tier list. I had a lot of time to think in jail, and this is the main thing I was snacking on in there. I must have had at least 50 bags of Cheetos during my very long and excruciating time in prison. Weren't you there for only 20 minutes? Hold on, let me Google this. Yeah, it says right here that you were only there for 20 minutes. That doesn't seem long at all. How the hell did you eat 50 bags of Cheetos in 20 minutes? That is actually kind of insane. Listen, I said it was an estimate on the Cheetos I ate. Also, don't trust Google, it is simply fake news. And I may not be able to fully recall my prison time, and I would prefer if you two would simply not bring up such a traumatic and tough time for me. You just said all you did was eat Cheetos in there. Yeah, that was my struggle meal. You would never get it, but anyways, enough of this blabbering. Let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got the Flaming Hot Chipotle Ranch Cheetos, and I will be immediately be placing these into C tier. This was kind of mid, and maybe that comes from the fact that I don't like ranch like that. I love ranch, don't get me wrong. I eat it on my wings, put it on my pizza, sometimes my fries. You all know how it goes, but sometimes ranch doesn't need to be placed onto things, and Flaming Hot Cheetos did not need that because they are delicious as is. Yeah, whenever I have too much ranch, I get bubble guts, and I end up just sharding myself when I think it's a safe fart. And then if I keep eating ranch-flavored things despite my body's first warning, well, I end up spewing bile from both mouths of my body if you catch my drift. That is absolutely vile, Joe. It's actually astonishing to me just how putrid you are, but I did see that interview where you reacted to my mugshot, and you said I was handsome, so you're on my good side, Joey. Have you seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? President, are you worried uh, at all about that? I, I, I did see it on television. What'd you think? Handsome guy. Wonderful. Up next on the list, we got some classic hot Cheeto fries, and I think this is an easy S tier. These things slap and are just great to eat. I can't have too many because it gets spicy, but I love the texture they have, and it can be a great switch up when I get too tired of munching on hard hot Cheetos. So I think that one should be up for no debate, but this next one. See me personally, I am a fan of the cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. I believe they belong at a solid A tier, but I can see arguments for either having it higher or lower. I personally really enjoy the flavor and the slight hint of spice that these things have, and I am sure many others also appreciate it. Extremely valid, I mess with the cheddar jalapeno flavor as well. I'd say an A ranking for it is just right because I already see like maybe two better Cheeto flavors than it. Ooh, I hope one of them isn't the Flaming Hot Cheetos with lime because I actually have that going into B tier. Now, before everyone hates on me, just hear me out. You can just squeeze limes into your normal Flaming Hot Cheetos and it's basically the same. Some say better. Yeah, but what if I don't want to cut limes, Donald? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought about moving your lazy ass every now and then? Of course you haven't. Sorry, Joe, I forgot we're cool now. I'll cool it down a bit, but anyways, up next we got the classic Cheetos, and I also have that going into B tier. I like them a decent bit, but I won't go crazy for them. I respect them for being the OG Cheeto, and will love them forever because of that. But if you ask me personally, these next ones have them beat by a mile. I have the Cheeto Puffs going into S tier because these things are banging, 
The texture is so much better. I like the airy bit it has and can easily demolish a family-sized bag of these in like record-breaking time. Oh yeah, now this is one we can most definitely agree on, Donald. I freaking love eating Cheetos puffs and just seeing how many I can chew in my mouth before swallowing. Then when I finally can't put any more in my mouth, I end up swallowing this big yellow glob of cheese and I feel it slowly move down my throat like a big ball of mucus. God, I love it so much. Uh, that makes me want to rank it lower, but again, you called me handsome, so I am letting a lot of stuff slide today. Up next, we got hot Cheeto puffs, and this is joining the cheddar jalapeno in A tier. I like these, but I must admit that the classic flaming hot are better in my opinion, but it's nice to switch it up every now and then. Now, this next one is dangerous, like they should put a warning label on this because I almost ended up in the hospital. These black label hot Cheetos are something fierce. They are so hot, and I kept chugging milk after like three handfuls of these. But I must say this, the flavor is absolutely immaculate, and they belong in A tier for entering God's domain of too spicy. If they're that spicy, can you really even say you enjoyed it? Like, why rate it that high? If you can't handle it and are barely gonna eat any? Because they're good, I don't need to explain it further. Jesus, man, no one ever complains about Icarus flying too close to the sun because he's a motherfucking dog for trying that in the first place. If it slaps, it slaps, even if it's super spicy. It's like eating something super sour, like, yeah, it'll hurt a little, but it hurts in a good way. Actually, I take that back. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, let's just wrap up the list and go on to our final entry, and that is the classic Hot Cheetos. Now, if you think I'm gonna come on here and try to say that it is anything other than an S tier, well, then you got me fucked up because the classic Flaming Hot Cheetos is a certified banger and absolutely belongs in S tier. Is it because it hurts you in a good way? Is that why you like it so much, Donald? Jesus, I take it back. I knew it was gonna be you who was gonna rag on me. I mean, it wouldn't have been Joe. We know that for sure. Yeah, I know I've been quiet for a while, but uh, I like it when stuff hurts. Like, it hurts so good, so good, I can't help but let out a little yelp. Like, I'm really into the pain as gain sort of mentality, except I want no gain and all pain. I live Let's for cut it. the video here. What is up, gang? Your favorite of the trio is here ready to present you a fried chicken tier list. And despite me trying my best to get Barack to do it, he just simply wouldn't. Donald, everyone likes fried chicken, but we all know your fat ass loves it the most. The only reason you wanted me to do the tier list is because you were trying to set me up for some jokes, and I will not let you do that. Why am I never the setup for any jokes? Why are we leaving the Joe dog out of all this fun? Joe, you are quite literally the butt of almost all of my jokes. If I had to give a percentage of the amount of jokes I said revolving around you, shit that would probably be around 90%. Sounds to me that I live rent free in your head. I don't gotta worry about paying a damn dime when staying in your head. I got a whole ass timeshare in there all to myself. Shut the hell up, Joe. I barely even think about you when I'm not around you. Really, because some would say that I live with the freest of rent inside of your head. Okay, let's relax now. And Donald, I am not gonna lie. Joe most definitely lives in that shit rent free. Like if we're being real, I think he owns a whole deluxe mansion in there, but hey, I don't judge. You two obviously don't know what you're talking about. I don't think of Sleepy Joe at all. I say we go ahead and start this tier list because we are holding up the audience. Up first, we got PDQ chicken, and I'll be placing this into a solid B tier. I like their chicken and just think it's solid overall. I don't really have much to say about it. Sounds mighty mid to me if we're being honest here, but I've never had it. That's because you're never in the East Coast, Joe, but yeah, it's pretty good too, all right, if we're being honest. Unlike this next entry, which is very near and dear to my heart, I freaking love KFC, but I know that KFC just isn't what it used to be. The chicken is beyond mid, but their gravy does save them a bit of points. I just hate that most KFC places are very bad and that they only care about their KFC restaurants overseas. We talk about all the stuff we're importing from China, but can we talk about the real issue here? The fact we have KFC exporting all of their talents to their markets. I want some good ass KFC. It's not fair that I have shitty booty KFC. So for those reasons, I have to place this once great place into C tier. Wow, you're very clearly super passionate about KFC, aren't you, Donald? I think I care about KFC almost as much as I care about my kids, but definitely not more than McDonald's. Up next, we got one that'll appease the Filipino audience. 
All three of you can finally jump for joy that you all get to see Jollibee on these tier lists and will be even happier by the fact that I am putting Jollibee fried chicken into a solid A tier. I really like their spaghetti, but we're not here to talk about that. I also had their fried chicken, and it is indeed a banger. If anyone is by one of these and are craving fried chicken, the Don would highly recommend you go out there and get yourself a bucket. I've had their hamburgers before, and they kind of slap. They're a bit sweet, but it's like, weirdly enough, very satisfying. This is a huge W. You finally said something normal for once, Joe. I didn't even realize that, but yeah, Jollibee slaps. Up next, we got Church's Chicken, and much like PDQ, I think it's pretty good. Definitely better than KFC, so I am happy with this placement. Up next, we got Zaxby's, and I know a decent bit of people were hating on us for our Zaxby's placement in our previous videos, but I am proud to report that they get a solid A tier from me. I like their chicken. Hey, look at that. Donald had a change of heart. Hopefully the viewers appreciate that because that does not happen often. They'll really start sucking me off when I tell them about this next one. I am putting Bojangles up in A tier alongside Jollibee and Zaxby's. I know the people will love this decision. First of all, it's pronounced Jollibee, and second of all, what about the people who prefer PDQ or Church's Chicken over all those you put in A tier? What if they get angry? Don't correct me, Joe. It was a simple mistake, and I doubt anyone will care that much about mid-chicken. Anyways, we got some dangerous entries coming up next. We got the tried and true Chick-fil A, and we all know that will go into S tier. I feel like I've said all I needed to say because that place is truly the best when it comes to chicken. Then up next, we got Cane's, and I know a lot of you might be haters, but I love their chicken, even without the Cane sauce. It's fresh and juicy, and I am a huge fan of that, that if you add on top some Cane sauce, then you got a dangerous ass combo on your hands. Then lastly, we got Popeye's chicken. I love Popeye's with all of my heart, so this is going immediately to S tier as well. And I don't want anyone in the comments trying to argue with me and try to say that one of these big three don't belong in S tier. The only one I'll hear you out on is Cane's, and even then, I will be more on their side than anything else. Well, I think Cane's is on the same level as Jollibee. So I think it should either go down or Jollibee should go up. Well, I can't really argue with you over fried chicken because you clearly are well-versed in the subject, but I don't think I'll be doing either of those options. Guys, please, can we talk about the real big elephant in the room? And what is that, Joe? Well, you see, there's two Zaxby's on the list. Uh, what's up with that? You are such an idiot, Joe. That's obviously a mistake. Yeah, Joe, you are an idiot. Well, fuck me for asking a question, I guess. What is up, gang? We are back yet again with another tier list. This time, we got a cake tier list ready baked and fresh for everyone. Oh, well, because cakes get baked, so that's why you said baked. No shit, Joe. Way to point out the super obvious thing I said. Now let's settle down, Donald. What if there's someone in the audience that didn't get that reference as well? Well, then I'd be surprised they even mustered up the knowledge possible to open up YouTube and click on this video. Like they'd have to be mouth breathers like Joe to not understand what I meant. But enough of all that, let's get on to our list. And up first, we got carrot cake. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a fan of carrot cake. Like it's still cake and has a good flavor. Give me a slice with a glass of milk and it's game over, man. I think I'll place it into B tier. I freaking hate vegetables and I would never place this cake that high. If you're so fine with carrot cake, why don't you go ahead and make a broccoli cake? Or better yet, just make a cauliflower cake. Jesus, Joe. What's the hate for carrots? They're probably the best type of vegetable. Sleepy Joe being weird is nothing new. Best to ignore his rock chewing ass and move on to the next item, which is a cupcake. Yeah, I don't know if it really qualifies as a cake. More like just a baked good that happens to have cake in the name. Plus, it's so small that it would piss me off getting that. Like, imagine you're being promised cake and someone whips out a teeny tiny cupcake. Me, personally, I would get heated as hell and knock that shit to the ground. Plus, the cupcake word has really fallen off because of EDP 445. Like, I can't even say I do like cupcakes anymore because people will immediately make a reference to him. Fist bump, Donald? See, just like that. Did you know the fucker got caught again for trying to meet up with a 15-year-old? Jesus Christ, what the hell has this world come to? I might have to put cupcakes in D tier for that. EDP sounds like a pretty cool guy. I might have to ask him for some cupcakes sometime soon. Yeah, you'll be able to ask him once the two of you share a prison cell. Anyways, up next, we got a certified hood classic banger right here, and that is cheesecake. I am sorry to any cheesecake hater, but I have this delicious ass shit going straight into S tier. Like, they have places like the Cheesecake Factory centered around those delicious things. 
Like, how could you not like these things? I freaking love cheesecake. I can't even begin to describe how much these bang. Sure, let's all suck off the cake made with cheese instead of giving cupcakes the flowers they deserve. Jesus, Joe, you didn't even like cupcakes until I mentioned EDP was a fan of them. You need to relax before they catch you texting some miners. Now, what do miners have to do with this? Last time I checked, this isn't Minecraft. Joe, I hate you so much sometimes. Let's just jump towards our next entry, which is chocolate cake. And I think we all know where this is going. Let's not lie to each other and try to make it seem like I will not be placing this in S tier as well. I can demolish a whole chocolate cake, and if you put Oreos on top of these things, I will go apeshit for these things. No complaints from me about this. Well, I do love chocolate, but guys, if I have too much chocolate or sugar in general, I get really bad tummy aches and then have to diarrhea all over the toilet. God, we know this, Joe. You make it like your central talking point every video. We get it. Jesus, this is raising my blood pressure. Thankfully, up next, we got yet another banger, and that is red velvet, and I think a solid A tier is in order for this delicious ass cake. Now I heard red velvet isn't really like a flavor because the red is food coloring, but God damn, I love the cream cheese that's used on this thing, and that alone makes me a huge fan of this cake. Have you guys ever had the nothing bunt cakes? Those things are delicious, and whenever I go there, I always make sure to get my red velvet or chocolate one. Ooh, my favorite is the confetti flavored one. You are such a little kid, Joe. I bet you like sprinkles on your ice cream too. And what if I do? You know what? I am not surprised in the slightest bit. Anyways, up next we got strawberry cake and I love strawberries in almost every single sweet or treat, but I ain't gonna lie. I feel like cake is the worst way of having it. That being said, I still think it bangs compared to everything on this list and we'll be giving it a solid A tier in this ranking. Don't get me wrong, it's probably the worst strawberry flavored thing. Like I'd rather have ice cream or strawberry candy, but compared to all the things here, it is still high up there. That's not that crazy to say Donald. I don't necessarily agree, but I can see where you're coming from. But more importantly, what is that next cake up on the list? Uh, I have no clue to be totally honest. I think it's an ice cream cake. As an ice cream expert, let me verify. Hmm, yes, interesting. I think it's all starting to click right now. Yes, the cake and the ice cream combining. Hmm, ooh, uh. So what is it, Joe? Oh, I don't know. I left my glasses in the White House. Jesus Christ, let's just say it's ice cream cake. And if it is, I may have to place this immediately into S tier. Ice cream cake is possibly the best version of any cake. It combines my two loves into one, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. Okay, what about that last one? What's that? Man, quit it with all the questions, always yapping and yapping away. Now let me think. Hmm, I actually know this one, and I believe it is coconut cake. I just wish our editor would have labeled these so that it would be easier, but fuck us, I guess. Anyways, if it is indeed coconut cake, I'll give it a solid B tier. I like coconut shavings as much as the next guy, but if you ask me, this is OD. What's that mean? What's an OD? Is that like being an OG? Come on, Joe, get with the times. It basically means you're overdoing it. Like for instance, you are being OD with your diarrhea references in our videos. Oh, like how a drug addict overdoses on his drugs and he is ODing. Wow, way to take this to a dark place, Joey. Do you possibly have something on your mind relating with substance abuse? I'm worried about Hunter guys. Uh... Yeah, uh, let's just cut the video. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, Donald and Barack picked me to do this tier list because they know I am the meat expert. Yeah, no one really handles a sausage quite like you, Joey. Frankly, I might give you the title of the number one meat beater because no one tenderizes their meat like you do. Oh, thanks, Donald. I really appreciate nice moments like these. Well, what about you, Barack? Why did you choose me to do this list? I just want to sit back and see the chaos unfold just to keep it real with you. The chaos of all this meat being raided. Don't worry, Barry, as the meat expert, I will guide these meats carefully to your mind with these accurate ratings. Speaking of which, these meats got me salivating, That's so let's get said. started. Up first, we've got bacon, and I think we all know where this is going. You can put this one anything. I put bacon bits on my mac and cheese, my pizza, my eggs, like this is the most perfect thing to ever exist. I love me some bacon and will confidently place this into S tier. Okay, that's extremely valid. If you place this next one where it belongs, I may have to also deem you the Meat Master Joe. Prepare to crown me the king of meats because I have brisket going into S tier alongside bacon. Get a good brisket and it is simply game over. I will drool over this and will take a brisket sandwich over almost anything any day of the week. 
get me some good sweet and spicy barbecue sauce alongside it, and oh man, it is wraps for me because I will immediately go into a food coma. Holy W, Joey, I actually cannot believe what I'm witnessing. A good Joey tier list is crazy rare. I may have to buy a lottery ticket. No need for a lottery ticket, Donald. Simply get your money up instead of your funny up. Anyways, up next we got turkey. And unless it's turkey ham, I don't really jive with turkeys. Like I feel like we eat it during Thanksgiving because of tradition, but no one else is eating turkey outside of it and sure it might be healthy, but this isn't about health. When I'm downing my brisket sandwiches, I do not care about my clogged arteries because I eat for the love of the game and nothing will stop me from shoving these meats in my mouth. So for that, I will be placing turkey into a solid C tier. I'm afraid chicken clears it easily. Okay, Joe, but a Thanksgiving turkey slaps. Like, I feel like we are underrating this right now. Yeah, not very American of you to put turkeys that low, Joey. Listen, fellas, C tier is not bad at all, and I will eat turkey, but you can't tell me with a straight face to hand you a turkey leg over a steak or something. Anyways, up next, we got fish, and man, oh man, I love me some fish. I love the aroma, the texture, the taste, you name it. I love it, like having some grilled salmon belly or some fried fish and chips. Oh my God, call me schizophrenic because the surf and turf goes absolutely bonkers. Just for those things alone, I have to put fish into S tier. I do indeed love fish, but I would not say I'm a fan of the smell, Joey. Reminds me too much of your upper lip, if we're being honest. That's because I'm a muncher. If you know, you know. Up next, we got ground beef, and I like ground beef, but solo, it doesn't stand on its own that much. It's definitely good as an addition to certain dishes like spaghetti, rice, nachos, you name it, and it probably makes it bang. But you'd have to be a meat demon to eat just ground beef alone with nothing else. And to be honest, I'd respect the hell out of you. As for a rating, I think this would belong in B tier. Still a step above turkey, but not quite an A tier. I feel like that's a pretty valid line of reasoning. You know, Joe, so far nothing outrageous has been said, but I am quite interested to see what you have to say about sausages. We will get there when we get there, but right now we got back-to-back -back heavy hitters because I got steak and chicken both going into S tier. Give me a juicy medium rare steak, which by the way is the only way to have steak. I'll also allow medium well, but I'm a diehard steak fan. Then when we talk about chicken, oh man, grilled or fried, it is guaranteed to bring you happiness. Like I cannot stress how miserable my life would be without the invention of fried chicken. Big dubs on these two ratings, Joe. Looking at this list, it's just so hard to rate anything low because every person knows how delicious meat is. On God, Donald, I do have some things going lower though, but for all my sausage haters, I'm afraid I will not be doing that to these delicious meat rods. You can literally make a sausage out of anything and they will fit perfectly in your mouth hole, which is why I have these going into A tier. I love me some sausage and will happily eat hot dogs whenever they're available. So if you like it so much, why is it being placed in A instead of S tier? Because every time I eat a sausage or hot dog, freaking Donald has to yell out, hey everyone, he's about to eat a glizzy. And then everyone stares at me and I then I get nervous and end up throating the glizzy in front of everyone. But that won't stop my love for them. But sad story aside, up next we got lamb, huh? Well, I don't really have a strong opinion on lamb. I had it once and it tasted a bit gamey, but it wasn't awful. But based on my one and only tasting, I have to say it belongs in C tier. But more importantly, we have to talk about lobster and I will keep it real with everyone. Lobster is a bit overrated, like we hear about how everyone is twerking for lobster and how they would drench it in butter and stuff. But it's not that amazing. I think it is extremely overhyped, but still delicious. Like I would not pay a lot for lobster, but if it is there, I'll eat it. And for that, I think I will be placing it into B tier. Like it's pretty good, but again, too many people suck it off. Just like the way you suck off those glizzies, right, Joe? But aside from you sucking those dogs like a vacuum, I have to say that you just haven't had good lobster because it bangs every time I have it. You gotta make sure you go somewhere where it's the specialty, like you can't be in the Midwest of America expecting to have some nice and fresh lobster. Yeah, I actually have to agree here with Donald. You have to go somewhere where you can get it fresh, like just caught and was living a happy life in whatever tank it was in, and then getting murdered because you ordered him off the menu. For something like this, you gotta go to like Maine or something to get some super fresh lobster, Joey. No, I don't think I will. Up next, we got some pepperonis, and I feel like this is a very limited meat, like it's still good, don't get me wrong, but you can't do much with pepperonis, I feel like. Maybe they'll go on a sandwich or pizza, but you can't do much else with them, so I feel like a C tier is warranted. 
Now that I'm looking at the next entry, I also have to say that salami belongs in C tier as well. Like it's also delicious, but man, you can't do much with it. I do like salami sandwiches though. Really? Because I think you're not a fan of either of these because we kept making fun of your nipples that one time at the beach. Yeah, we kind of tag teamed you that day. We had Donald calling you pepperoni nips most of the day, and then I uh, piled on and called you salami tits. I blame the alcohol because of all of that. Don't take it personally, Joe. It was a personal attack from me. Please do take it personally. Listen, I don't care. I have pretty thick skin, so like, I don't care about those very rude and hurtful comments and uh, totally didn't keep my shirt on after that because I let it get to me, ha ha. I just got cold at the beach, so I had to start wearing something because I like to stay warm. Nothing more than that. And you should stop reading into that day. Anyways, up next we got ham and oh man, I do love me some ham. But it had me thinking, when do we ever eat ham if it isn't on sandwiches? Like I have ham during Thanksgiving, but not during any other time, unless it's on a sandwich because that bangs. So taking all that into account, I think I have to place ham into B tier. Like it's still good, but I don't really have it that much. Seems to me like you do not have very thick skin, but who am I to judge? But anyways, I still think ham is elite, even if it isn't had very often. Like get me slice of Thanksgiving ham with some cranberry sauce on top and we are set. Plus, wouldn't ham in general be like needed because what else would you put on sandwiches? Well, I mean, it isn't super needed because you can always put bologna or like salami or pepperoni on your sandwiches. Plus, I don't think it means that type of ham if we're being honest. I mean, look at the picture. It is clearly talking about a big piece of ham, but the rating stands. Let's just go up next and we got pork and man, oh man, pork is freaking yummy. Like I could name off lots of things that encompass pork, but I'll leave you all with one simple food pulled pork sandwiches. Jesus, man, I will kill someone for a pulled pork sandwich. And I think that much praise gets it into A tier. I would place it higher, but I know there are some pork haters in the world who unfortunately will never eat this delicious piece of meat. But Joe, you have bacon up there, and that is almost most certainly pork. So like, what the hell are you even waffling about? What if I told you that I was talking about turkey bacon? Also, I'm pretty sure beef bacon might be a thing, so like pork bacon isn't the end all be all, so make sure you get your facts straight. But well, uh, in this particular case, you just so happen to be right because I was talking about pork bacon. But you know what? I don't care. And I don't mind having pork below bacon, even if that makes no sense, because this is my list and you can't do anything about it. Now, finishing this all off, I have shrimp wrapping everything up. I got these little suckers going into A tier. They're delicious, and despite being bottom feeders, they are nutritious as hell and are good in almost any manner that they are prepared. Okay, let's relax now. I agree with the rating based on flavor, but let's get one thing straight. I wouldn't say they're little, more like average. Yeah, Donald has a point. You're trying to make shrimps sound like a whole ass snack, but in reality, jumbo shrimp fills you up, man. I do agree that the other shrimps are teeny tiny though, but have enough of those and you'll get stuffed. Uh, I was talking about the other shrimps, Barack, not the jumbo ones. Quite frankly, if you ask me, the jumbo shrimps are a bit too big, and at that point, it's not enjoyable, right? Like, no one likes things that are too big because then they just don't feel, I mean, taste good. Well, I like both big and small shrimp, but, uh, this feels like we're not talking about shrimp anymore. But to be honest, I like where this conversation is going. Uh, I don't think I do.